All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of PEST, which stands for Probe Expansion and Science Things, and it is being made by forum user CTN, and uh, I love this little mod. It's just a small parts mod, currently with only five parts added into the game, but I love it because I am a big fan of of probes. Uh, yeah, I I love probes because I'm a god-awful pilot in this game and I tend to kill a lot of Kerbals. So I love using probes to avoid all of those deaths. And so any mod that adds in more probe cores and things of that variety, I just adore. So let's head into the VAB and take a look at the parts this has on offer. Now, uh, I have been making a little custom groupings here in uh, previous episodes, but since it is only five parts and they're just between three tabs, it's not too uh, much of a worry. So starting here in command pods, we have two probe cores being added by this mod. The first is the Gensys probe core, which is a lovely little undemand command pod uh, with its own SAS system, electrical charge, and monopropellant, and it is based off of the Dawn spacecraft, and I absolutely love the look of this little thing, because it's it doesn't look like really anything special, just a, a good little cube here with uh, very kerbalized parts to it. It just looks like they bolted on a monopropellant tank here and some uh, more bolts for a battery compartment. Uh, but what I love um, the most about this little... Uh, lovely core here is it's hollow glorious hollow interior so you can just pack whatever you want or need inside the spacecraft to make it a lot more sleek and stylish if you know that's your sort of thing i love it because i can fit an antenna in here a battery and a fuel tank and you know a small engine and uh, maybe even a couple little science things in there. It is uh, a fairly sizable little compartment if we compare it to, say, the Stay Putnik. It is roughly the same size, but of course with its cuboid nature, we have a bit more area on the interior. And yeah, I, I just love this little core because, well, it's very utilitarian. Uh, the second core that gets added in is the X or the SP dash X1, rather, or SP11 if you're going with Roman numerals there, probe core, which doesn't have full SAS, but it does have a reaction wheel, and uh, does have electrical charge, but no monopropellant, and this baby is a more spheroid shape, and I like this one because it has an additional attachment point up at the top, so you can put this as an inline probe core, which is quite cool. Uh, though you may have noticed here that it is essentially the Stay Putnik doubled and one of them flipped over. That That is literally what this thing is with a different texture. <laughs> uh, I, I like it. I like it indeed. It is uh, maybe not the most original piece of modeling, but you know what? With the texture on there, I love it all the same. Now, after the probe cores, we have in, oh boy, now I am forgetting where things are, utility, yes, the utility tab, where we have the probe shock absorber, which is, well, just a really, really heavy, high crash tolerance thing to basically make your, uh, probe's center of gravity much lower so that it can land more safely. Now, I am actually going to... Oh, what the hell, let's pop that on the inside. So we have the connector down here. Bam, there we are. That is what this thing's for. It's, it's, uh... Yeah, it's a shock absorber. Uh, the whole point of this thing is to basically lower the probe center of gravity so that it can land straight up and down. And also, apparently is somewhat useful for arrow breaking your probe because, well, it is just a big flat surface there. And with its high crash tolerance, uh, you know, it will help your probe stay intact when you are landing on a planet. And then uh, lastly, in the science tab, we have two parts in here. The first is a new piece of scientific instrumentation, a glorious gas chromatograph, and I love these things. I occasionally get to use one in real life. And well, it is used for doing atmospheric chemical analyses, 
and so you have a lovely extra bit of science, and, well, who doesn't love more science things? Uh, there is actually another planned science experiment, a gamma ray and neutron detector, uh, which apparently is finished, but for some reason isn't cooperating in-game quite yet, so hopefully there will be another experiment in here soon. Uh, but for now, the other part we have in here is a coiled antenna, which is a long-range, low-power antenna that, of course, can fit in the line uh, with a secondary attachment point on the top there, so we can clip other things on top, and we are getting some uh, interesting texture clipping there. Let's just chuck that away. And yes, it's just a inline antenna that uses a low amount of power for a high amount of uh, bandwidth for long-range communication, and I love the description on this, saying that it may have been stolen from Soviet Russia. That, that just amuses me, I don't know why. But yes, altogether, these five parts make up this mod currently, and it's, it's not a lot, but you know what? It adds more science into the game, which I always love. It adds more probe cores into the game, which I always love. And it adds in this weird shock absorber thingy, which is interesting. I still don't honestly know what to make of that part, but hey, if you want a shock absorber on your probe, here you go. Have at it, Hoss. But if we exit and go to the tracking station, I have put two of these probes out into the solar system so that we can take a look. Now, the first is the SP. XI or XPX11, whatever you want to call this a darn thing, on to Duna, and if we just go and uh, control that, we have landed it on the planet with the shock absorber. It survived quite well, actually. I did use MC, or not MC Edit, that's a Minecraft thing, Hyper Edit, yes, Hyper Edit, to get this thing here, but uh, normally I land it softly on the surface. I actually dropped it from like 100 meters up, and it survived. So that's actually pretty cool and says a lot about that probe. And uh, yes, I, I, I do love this probe core here. It is a, even though it does look like just a flipped around Stay Put Nick, I like the texturing on it. It, it it speaks to me. And then, of course, we have the gra gas chromatograph here, which uh, atmospheric readings reveal mostly carbon dioxide, small amounts of argon and nitrogen, and trace amounts of oxygen and methane for the Duna Highlands. So very good. We will keep that data. And actually, let's review the data. Transmit it. And wow, that thing's actually going pretty fast. We're already uh, to 15. And 20% on the uploading trans... Oh, we're running out of electrical charge. Oh, yeah, I only do have a crappy little battery on here. Oh, boy. <laughs> so if you had more electricity, which actually is surprising. I thought that the point of this was to uh, be a low-power transmitter. But I guess we are only on one crappy little battery here, so that is a thing. Uh, but yes, yes, we are transmitting off of the coiled antenna. I do like the look of it and its inline nature. Uh, but that's... That's enough for that one. Let's head back to the Space Center and head to where I have another probe over around uh, Eve, I believe. Oh, God, where did I put it? Yes, Eve. I did, in fact, put it around Eve. Let's uh, speed up time, though, so we can get nice in the sun. Hold on. Uh, there we go. And uh, yes, let's fly. And this one, of course, being made with the Gen Sys. There we are, zoom in, and yeah, I fit inside of this thing one of those coiled antennas, a uh, one of the round batteries, a xenon tank, and a lovely ion engine, all fitting inside here quite nicely. I did put the science equipment on the outside, mainly because I, I was too lazy to do the no clip on the inside, but he has a lovely, lovely little compact probe here with a good SAS system, a good... Uh, fuel and electrical charge to it. Just a nice little probe. I, I like the look of it. Always good to have any additional probes in game. It's just fun. And yeah, that's well, that's really it to the mod. Oh, one thing to mention, another planned feature is they are hoping to add compatibility with Outer Planets mod soon. So that would mean, you know, making science experiments for all of the different biomes on the Outer Planets mod planets. So that should be interesting. And I'm hoping, besides the gamma ray and neutron detector, that perhaps we get some more science equipment in the future. And maybe even some new probes. I'm hoping we get those. That's It says nothing in the forum post about it, but 
I always hope for that whenever I see any new Probe Core mods. Uh, but yes, this has been Pest, the Probe Expansion and Science Things mod, and if you would like to try it out for yourself, you can just take a look in the description as always. And uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video today, and of course that you come back for the next, but until then, thank you for watching my friends, and as always, have a good one!